welcome to my build world where I will be showing you some of my favorite builds that I've found that I can make. For this house you'll need these ingredients. This is the top side, this is the bottom side, this is the outside of the house. So we're gonna collect this. And do the outside first. So first we want to dig out a 9 by 9 Now when you do these countings, this is 9 and then I stop here and I count from 2 to there and this will be 9. So from here over it'll be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Why does that, why does that not match up? <sighs> Sometimes that happens but that's okay because we can just do this. I'm not really counting these out, but as you can see, I'm just putting it in a certain way. And then we get the mossy stone here. stone we will put this down on all four corners so depending on where you want your door is where you'll accent these black stones here so say you want your door here excuse you you're not in the right thing Say so you want them here, so you'll put them like that. Or you want it over here, so you'll put them over here. Or you want them over here, so you'll put them over here. And then if you want them over here, put them there. So we're going to put these over here to accentuate our door. And... It's actually these that are the corners. Makes more sense. Okay. And then we got these here. One, two. One, two. And we put that in the center there. Two. One. Two. One. And you're gonna leave that one open. So we have a reason why we want this open. We're gonna come back here and lay these out a little bit like that. Um, here they are. Grab one of these. There we go. 
this is going to be our chimney. So then we do three, one, two, three on each side of the corners. Then for the windows, we'll do this. it a little bit there's gonna be quite a few quiet spells just because I'm focusing and I am gonna make sure that I have everything in the correct place here just because I want to be absolutely sure to get this right for you guys. You can use panes, but I like using the full blocks. Excuse me. And we got this here on each side. Ooh. Yeah, we got to be careful with that. And we come back here, and we do le boop, and le boop. And we get this back up like so. And we do that there, because this is going to be our second floor. Okay, and then for the second floor, start here, and I believe we did these black blocks. So we'll put these here. Hmm. No, that looks better. Okay, so we're gonna do this. There's a reason why I left those holes, and you will see why in a bit. Just gonna kind of mirror what's over there real quick. Two, one, two. Now, this is a really kind of important step. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add one more wall. reason why this is kind of important is because 
this part is going to come up with a ladder. And if you don't have this extra block here, you're going to kind of be stuck and you won't be able to access your second room. So, we're going to put it in like this. And then we got that. Very nice. Hmm. Oh, I see what I- I think I see what I did wrong. No? That's right. What did I do wrong? Well, I'm just going to do this and add in a second wall. Because I have no clue what I did wrong. You know what? I think I do know what I did wrong. I think it's supposed to look like that. That looks better. Alright, and then we will do this. Now you can do this with any bricks or blocks or anything, but I like these gray tones accentuated with blue tones. It just makes it kind of pop. that backwards. Alrighty, and then we got that one there. I think we're gonna add a little bit of glass. chimney here.
so now I got the outside done. Well, most of it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Oops, I got rid of something I wasn't supposed to yet. Uh, but that's okay, we all make mistakes. So with these, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna do a boop and a boop. And a boop and a boop. We don't need that there, so we're gonna get rid of that. And then we're gonna take these deep slate and we're gonna take this up here. And we're gonna do something nice like that. For the roof. And boop. Now the outside is finished. And we come back to our chest. And we're gonna take this stuff here. So this is actually for the outside. This goes right up here. Hey Bale will make sure that you have a longer smoke trail that can be seen from a further distance away. And then we got our ladders. I did that right. Let's see here. And then we have our crafting table and our furnace. You can either use the white candles or the black candles. I like to use the black candles, but I will use the white candles for this one. We'll set up like that there. Yep, we got that there. Do four. Prevent mob spawn. We've got this here. Come here. Alright. And we put our two brewing stands. And again, this can be white or black or any color really. I just like to use white and black because again it's got that nice aesthetic. Now what I like to do is I like to put the chests in like this just so I can have a little bit more organizing space. You can put them in however you like. Our door. Alright, and we've got our living room finished here, so we're gonna do this, and we're gonna come back to our chest, and we're gonna take the rest. So one of these actually belongs down here. We're gonna take this flint and steel, move that, and we're gonna turn these on. And we're gonna turn that on. And we're gonna take that iron bar to put it there. And then we're gonna take these up here and start decorating our top room. So we've got one, two, three, four. And that one's done. And then we take our netherrack and place it right in there. Alright, what am I missing? 
That's right, I'm missing the stairs. So, we come down here. Come on now. And we'll use pick block. I'll teach you how to do that in, in a second. Come on now. There we go. And there we go. See, the, the stairs make it so much nicer. Plus, if you don't have the stairs, it doesn't look quite as, quite as right. So you can use any bed, but again, I like this one's my favorite color, so I'm going to use it. And then we're going to take these bookshelves, put it right in there. And we got an enchantment table on this side. And we're going to put the anvil on that side. And again, you can use any candles. And if you want your own personal chests, you can kind of like put them, um, maybe not there, uh, we can put them right here. That way if you have some diamonds or stuff, you can put them up here. I didn't put them in the other houses. So that'll be it. The thing that you can add here is some oak wood planks so you can have like a little bit of privacy. Or you could do spruce. Now about that pick block thing that I did, like I can base a block and then I can pick it. So what I, what I did is I went into my settings. And I went over to my controller. We go all the way down to pick block. And we click on it and we place which one we do. I like to use the left toggle on the d-pad. It makes it so much faster and easier just to pick up a certain block that you need or you missed. Alright, and that's the house. That is it for the day. Have a good day guys.